Hey guys, Targo Cyclone FPV, and right now I'm getting ready to work on a, uh, let me show you here real quick. I'll uh, see if I can get this to show up on the screen. I'm getting ready to do an R9 Mini um, receiver here, but the thing is, is the customers asked me to put the pins on it, and so I'm gonna go do that, and I just added this new camera, uh, which you can see right here. So you kind of get a better view now. I can get a little bit closer when I'm doing my uh, soldering product projects. So um, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do this. I'm kind of cramped for room here though. So if I happen to go off camera, uh, I apologize. I'm still getting used to having something this zoomed in. Um, but uh, I am gonna try to tape this down a little bit so that it'll kind of stay in place as I'm working. Let me grab a piece of tape here. I don't know how effective this will be. As a matter of fact, hold on. Maybe I'll get some, uh, maybe I'll get some uh, good piece of tape. Let's try this little piece of duct tape here. Uh, that might actually hold in place. Okay, so there's a couple things we're going to be doing that I would recommend that you do, right? So the first thing is that we are, if you notice how the pins go, you have two options. You can either put the pins up, right? And I'll show you how this works. So you can either feed them in this way, um, like this, okay? And they're going to be high on the top then, which you can cut, or you can feed them in on the bottom. Because the bind button is on this side, which you can see here, there's the bind button. Uh, I would have to say that the best thing to do is going to be to have the pins up like they are now, and then you can plug in your um, uh, uh, connections to this side. So they are a tad bit long, but like I said, we can possibly cut them if we want to. So I'm going to actually tape this this direction, okay, because it's going to be easier for me to get to if I do it like this, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of feed this inside like, like this here. Uh, there we go. All right, now I need to use my old man glasses so I can see, so bear with me. Uh, let me make sure that I'm doing this. All right, so one of the issues, or one of the things we want to make sure of is that these things go on straight, right? And so the first thing you're going to, now I've already tinned this, uh, not tinned it, I'm sorry. I've already put the um, the uh, paste on here, or the, uh, God, the flux flux pen flux paste whatever you want to call it sorry my brain's a little fried right now so uh and, and you have to make sure you do that okay and then i'm going to heat that up just a little bit i just want to see it make sure we burn it off there okay so that's good to go and now my main thing is to get one pin holding so that i can finish this job now i know a lot of you will not put pins on your receivers but if you find yourself needing to then um, this is how i would do it so i'm going to take the pin closest to me here and I'm just going to really quickly just kind of hit it right there. And what will happen is it will automatically spread and now it's in place. Okay, so now this thing is going to remain level. And if you can look at the solder I just did, you will see that it right here. Uh, well, I guess you can't see that yet. Hold on and I'll show you real quickly. I'll do this other side real quick and maybe that will help. So here's what you end up doing. You end up getting the solder right where you need it. And just hold it real quick and what's going to happen is the solder will find its way down and seal between the pin and the hole that's it just it's a couple touches it'll spread on its own and you'll have yourself a very solid connection just like that okay so now let me show you the end result here's the end result the end result is on this side uh, let me inspect that first before i make myself look bad uh, okay so we've got a solid connection and here's what I'm looking at, okay? So, whoops, let me get you on the camera there. Okay, so this is my connection, and here's my pins. All right, they're all soldered on, and you can see from here, they're all soldered on. This one's kind of a, uh, this one right here's a little thick on there, but nonetheless, they're on there good. Um, they're not going anywhere. Now, I'm not worried about the bottom parts. I'm only worried about right here, because uh, this is going to hold the most. And so what we've got is we've got now time to trim these up. And so if you want to trim them up, uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to this camera. I really do apologize for being all over the place. I'll get better at it, I promise. So now just come on in and just cut them off, all right? And you can then re-inspect your solder at a closer level. And you can see that every pin, the only pin in question for me is going to be um, the middle pin right here. Uh, every other pin has back and front solder. This one did not get the back soldered, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that again real quick. So let me put the uh, tape down. Okay, and remember, it doesn't take much to solder these. I'm going to put the tape down. Usually, if there's solder on there, you can just kind of hold it. Now, I haven't cleaned the tip of this solder, but if you hold it, it should cover on its own. But you do not want to hold it too long, so here's what I'm going to do. There we go. Now that's it. So that's good. I'll just go over them one more time. There we go. And what will happen is if you touch the top of the pin, the solder will actually run down and spread. Okay, 
And so now I've got pretty good here. The only thing now that I see is that um, I have a pretty sharp point right here that I want to get rid of. So all I'm going to do, God darn it, one day, I'm going to zoom out because one day I'll learn how to keep this thing in zoom. And I'm really sorry about this, guys. I was just trying to kind of give a quick pointer here. So just when you, if you have a sharp, sharp points and you don't want those really, just kind of go through and just uh, cut them down. And there you go. So now I've got all the pins ready to go. And this customer can receive this back and just plug it in because his connection to his flight controller is, uh, is uh, he's got a, the um, wires terminated already. So he just wants to be able to plug it in, okay? So one, two, and three pins, and he's good to go. And that should basically handle that. This also makes it pretty easy to go ahead and do a firmware update on, which is what I'm about to do now. So um, I guess since we're doing that, I can go ahead and let me switch screens here. And we're gonna go ahead and test something. Um, I did email FrySky about their updates. And one of the things that they informed me was that it's a really weird email because the gentleman was really trying to help me out, but it was very vague on his answer. But the question was, can you just use the most recent update to update your firmware on your receivers? And he said that in most cases, yes, that is what he believes. Now this is what he believes. The problem is, is he also said that in some cases on like older flight controllers or I'm sorry, transmitters and stuff, you have to load them in order. So I don't know if I want to take the risk or not, but I am going to go ahead and update the firmware. Um, and so uh, I will do that. Um, let me see. I'll probably do that in a second video. I've already got videos on there on how to do it. I actually need to get this out and back to the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out, but I wanted you to see how to do the pins and hope that helps guys. If you have any questions, let me know, but this pin idea works on all of them. Just make sure to put your solder at the beginning to hold the pin in place. And then, like I said, just get on, put a little drop of solder on each one. And then if you just touch the top of the pin with your solder iron, the solder will heat up and kind of just drop like almost like a Hershey kiss looking thing. It'll just kind of go out and come to a point. But there you go. All right, guys, take care. If you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonfu.com. If not, we'll see you soon. God bless. See ya.